One of my favourite vegetables is asparagus that we harvest from late spring and into early summer. The traditional time to stop cutting those lovely succulent juicy spears is the 21st of June, uh, which is the longest day. After that, we let all this lovely ferny foliage grow and you can see it gets to five or six feet tall and that's really essential to let that grow because it's building up the root system for next year. So if we don't allow it to grow, next year's spears will be thin and weak. So what we do now at this time of the year, instead of being a lovely green, it's going yellow, it's done its job for the year. So we're gonna cut it down because otherwise it's just gonna blow around over the winter and loosen the roots. So these are stems that would have been asparagus spears, but they've grown into the fern and it is literally just a case, really simply, of chopping everything down to ground level and working the way along the bed and cutting it down. It's one of those lovely therapeutic jobs to do at this time of the year. You can't go wrong and you can actually see where you've been. Oh, it just gets in your face, that's the trouble, it tickles. Sean, you ought to be doing this. I could do the camera for a change and you could, you could take the secateurs. So I'm going to work my way along the row and chop it all down. Oh. It's going to take up a lot of space in the compost bin. Is it going to be alright if you've got space? Oh, I've got a little trick up my sleeve for you there. As you say, Sean, we've got masses and masses of growth. Now, it does rot down really well, but if we stick that all on our compost heap, it's just going to fill it very quickly. So what you need, ideally, is a shredder, an electric shredder, petrol one if you've got one and just pass them through and this will reduce all of this asparagus into this trug and then we can add it to the compost heap. So you just feed it all in nicely like that. This is one of the uh, treaders that grinds it so it's a quiet one. You can't physically get your hand in so it is totally safe to use this one. And it very very quickly reduces a big pile of prunings into just a, a trug full that we can then add to the compost heap. So once it's gone through the shredder, you can see it's reduced it from this to this, really, really finely chopped. And that will rot down very quickly if we mix it in with other garden waste leaves and things in the, in the compost heap. But if you haven't got a shredder or you can't get hold of one by hiring it or anything, then what you need to do is still reduce it. You don't have to chop it anywhere near as small as that, but just using a pair of secateurs, chop it into smaller sections again so that you can mix it in. So don't worry too much if you haven't got a shredder. So now we've got rid of it, what we need to do is just tidy through the bed. So it's just a case of very lightly forking through it, not too deep because we don't want to disturb the fleshy roots um, which are quite close to the surface of the asparagus. So minimum disturbance. So once I've forked through this bed very lightly and, and got rid of all the weeds and just raked off the leaves to expose these stumps of the asparagus there. What I'm going to do then is mulch it. This is homemade compost out of our compost bin. This is from last year's leaves and all the garden waste. And look at that, that's absolutely wonderful. That's what homemade garden compost should be like. It's not too wet, too sticky, nice and crumbly, got a really good structure. And what I'm going to do is just put a mulch of that along the bed so that it improves the soil, and it protects the roots a little bit over winter. And then next year when the spears grow, they'll push up through this lovely compost mulch. Mm -hmm. 